Hello, this is Tazlon. I'm in Siegfried Line in counter mode south of my VK2801 for The Lighthouse After Action Report Volume 17. In this film we're going to look at the changes they made in 9.8 to the Siegfried Line map and especially out in the field where scouts and like to operate. The most dramatic changes were made out here and said to report most of them hurt scouts. In this battle there's three artillery on the enemy team, only one medium and one scout. So they aren't a very mobile team and they probably won't have very many tanks out here on this side of the field. Meanwhile we have two artillery and a scout plus four mediums. We're a lot more mobile than they are and that may play a factor in this fight. So I'm still going to start off with my normal run up to the middle and duck into the gate to town. Try to get a, a bunch of spots on the enemy team and see if we can Let's score go. some early damage. Now they say they, they wanted to enhance gameplay on this map. They raised some of the ridges in here close. Really doesn't help anybody, but maybe if a heavy's crazy enough to want to um, peek a boom down here, that might help them. It's not going to help anybody else. And here come the spots. The MT-25's lit up. Half the team's lit up. I'll cut through here. When I go through there, I usually take my finger off the throttle and just let it coast while I make the turn. Because if you hit that center post and stop, man, you're in for a short game. You want to make a controlled turn. And see the, how, they, how they made this little ridge right here? It helps if you're firing out onto the field. It gives you a little bit more cover to shoot out. But again, that's, that's gameplay for heavies. It's not anybody else. Sometimes the lighter medium will set up there to defend out in the field, but it's um, it's mostly designed to help heavies. And now looking straight ahead, remember that hill that used to be there? Oop, not there anymore. They wiped it completely out. Right and directly where my reticle's pointed, that used to be up in the air, now it's not. So the little bush that's there is pretty much useless now because without being up in the air, it just can't see as far. There's like one or two more buildings out here in the field, and you can see on the map where they are. Again, that caters to heavies. Heavies like to play peek boom Mediums and scouts don't. That's not their game. They want to have concealment and spot, and you can't do that if you have a concrete bunker with, with no bushes around it. So the whole field, the changes to the whole field were designed to help heavies which is beyond stupid because heavies don't play in the field. Heavies play in town. So all the changes that were made to this map, especially out here in the, on the western half, they were made to facilitate tanks that don't come here. And they still aren't going to come here. In a game like this, hiding behind this little bunker with artillery in the game, that's not going to help you. They're going to plop one on your head anyway. Heavies are going to stay in town most of the time. So they made all this change helps a class of tank that doesn't come out here and hurts all the tanks that come out here. It's just it's just a stupid, stupid change. With our tanks over there that far up in D5 and not seeing anybody, I know there's nobody up here unless the Arty, one of the Arties in the back corner. So I'm going to continue along here. You can see how the tank drops got shifted out. Let's stop a second and look at this. We used to like to hide right there. That was shifted over here because the, the line of tank traps went straight and you could use the gate as cover and concealment and fire in toward the city gate and everybody down along the edge of the wall there. Well again that hurts heavies. Heavies don't want to move. They want to be able to just shoot and not worry about exhibiting any skill other than maybe side scraping and so it bugs them that they get shot at and they can't shoot back. So they shifted this out here to the red line, so you can't use it. You can park in between them. It's not going to provide very much cover from the midfield. They put a little bunker here, but again, now you're peak booming So it's just not, it's not a change that's conducive to the tanks that play out here. It doesn't help. It doesn't help the tanks who play out here. 
It helps the tanks that don't play out here. They can say they're trying to enhance gameplay all they want with this change, but what this, the changes to this map did was push even more tanks into town and put fewer tanks in the field. Now, as a scout, you can try to exploit that like I am right now. Because I know with one medium, they probably aren't out here in the field. I can run the field and I get to go pick on Arnie. So, while it lets me make end runs more often, it's going to reduce my ability to come out here in the field and snipe. They lowered the hills, I'm lower down to the ground. They have added a ridge to where the tanks close to town can hide. It's all designed to reduce the effectiveness of lights and mediums in order to help out heavies. And I don't know why they're doing that. They're fixated on making heavies the only tank people want to play. They're nerfed the hell out of Artie. They're nerfing TDs to Oblivion, and now they're they're nerfing. Well, they've been nerfing scouts forever, but now they're they're nerfing medium and scout gameplay repetitively on maps. So, at some point, everybody's just going to leave this game and go play something else. They need to start making changes that are balanced and help all different tank classes, not just focus on helping one. This guy's probably going to be pointed close to me. That's why I can run as far to the left as I can. We track each other. If I kill him, I get a past but our big, our big, um, who got it? The GW Tiger? Yeah. I'm going to climb up and try to join the fight. Uh-oh, here comes the 50. <laughs> if I don't track him, I'm dead. Cool. Now I can stay ahead of his gun. Come on, come over here. I'm going to have to track him again. He just broke free. And who got him? Jackson got him. Whenever you're trying to track somebody like that in order to stay alive, you almost have to pull down on your mouse. Make sure that your gun is as low as possible. If you have a gun like this where it wants to fly up in the air. Pull back down on the mouse. Keep your gun elevation low. Make sure you hit the tracks. Because if you're not paying attention, you'll hit above the tracks and not track them, and then you're going to die. Just the T-34-3 left. Oops. My gun's messed up. I didn't have time to aim in all the way. So I took a shot, just hoping I'd hit, and I pulled it right. It didn't help that I moved the mouse right, right to the right just as I shot. I'm going to come up here and come in behind him once he goes around the corner. I'm going to sit here and wait a second. Make sure he goes around the corner. And now I'm just going to come around the corner and fire. Hopefully I shoot before he does if he's looking at me. He may be more concerned with the panther. We'll see. Nope, he's going to try to shoot. Dead. So for the battle, I end up with 1,875 XP, 10 spots, 836 spotting damage, and 4 kills, 1,717 damage, and a scout medal. So I played the beginning, same as before. And then recognizing they probably aren't going to have a lot of scout or mediums out in the field, because they only have one, and the heavies certainly aren't going to go out there with us having two big artillery. Um, I was able to run the field, light up their artillery, and help take out the last tanks. As you can see, it's going to be, yeah, they've added, what, they added a building out here. There's an extra building in here or so. But overall, the terrain's been smoothed, it's been flattened, and that only helps heavies. Doesn't help anybody but heavies to have a bunch of flat terrain. They've added the little ridge down in here. Again, that helps heavies defend from being attacked in the field. So I think maybe that part they're looking at enhancing defense on assault mode. But um, the overall result of this is you're going to see fewer and fewer tanks out in the field, especially the one, two, and three lines, more tanks on the right side of the map playing in the town. I don't think it's a good change because we have all three modes, we have standard encounter and assault on this map, we have probably, they, they've enhanced the ability to defend a little bit at the expense of 
playing in the field for all three battle types. We've enhanced one out of six and ruined three out of six. So that doesn't make any sense to me. The net result is the gameplay on this map has deteriorated. From Siegfried Line, checking out the changes, unfortunately made for the worst. Happy hunting.